know, performing on the water with the capture performing suits, the most challenging part and never been done before. Can you walk us through? Because it's hard for the audience to imagine. Well, it was hard for us to imagine what Jim was asking us to do <laughs> when we came back. You know, in 2015, he was like, guess what? You know, we're going to do 70% of this story. We're going to tell it underwater. <laughs> so you guys are all going to become certified scuba divers if you aren't already, and you're going to learn to free dive. I remember there was like a big silence in the room, and I'm like, what is that? But obviously, you can't tell James Cameron no, you know? <laughs> you're like, that's so cool! But they, meanwhile, like, in utter panic. <laughs> And then what about Sam? You mentioned that this is the hardest job ever to you, right? Yeah, because you have to remain calm. So you're not a calm person? Yeah, I've become calmer. <laughs> but when you're underwater, 30 feet deep, you right. start to panic. So you have to See? remain calm, otherwise you're going to lose all your oxygen. It's right. just you're going to burn it at a quicker mm. rate. There, there's something about being under there. No one can talk to each other. So right. all you hear is the director. Mm -hmm. telling you the scene and telling you what you need to do so mm -hmm. you know you, it is quite peaceful but at the same time yeah it's very risky and, and super it's scary yeah very scary yeah and, and how do you communicate underwater hand, hand signals, signals. Yeah, hand, yeah. Signals, yeah. hand yeah. signal yeah okay. <laughs> out <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll dying out. you have a lot of gears on you yeah. you know the power packet that was something never been tried before yeah. <laughs> you guys were the guinea pig always yes. yeah <laughs> look in the, fun, in, the first, in the first movie with the guinea pigs of the technique uh -huh. and then it's advanced yeah and then that is i remember the first day you power packed up your helmet cam and you're about to dive into the pool and no one knew it was going to work and that's the great thing about jim he's always pushing that boundary yeah. here's the one thing that people i wish people sort of heard this more mm -hmm. the reason why all the trouble and all the hassle is just so the actor can deliver. Right. Mm -hmm. He's not here to substitute anything. He's not mm -hmm. here to take take one part of us and then recreate the others out of thin air. Yeah. The reason why these power packs are there, the reason why performance capture and the technology is constantly evolving, mm -hmm. is just so when he says action or directors like him say action, they're going to capture everything mm -hmm. that the actor is performing. Respect for the integrity of what the actor is doing mm -hmm. is the reason why Jim, you know, mm -hmm. does what he does. And and uh, and I th and for me, it's very important that that people understand that that it's so easy for a director to kind of go, yes, it was amazing, but in reality, they just cut up, you know, the actor's right. performance and put something completely inorganic together. Mm -hmm. That's not what Avatar has been from the beginning to end. And maybe, maybe that's why it resonates with people because we can unconsciously tell when something feels put together, cut, you know, animated. Paper, animated, animated. Like, yeah. um, and when something just feels that it's that relatable because, mm -hmm. you know, that, that's the way you would move. That's what you would say. That's how right. you would feel. Those are the expressions that you would, you would make mm -hmm. given certain events. Um, that's all us. That's why you guys are willing to risk your life to do Avatar. Oh, it's so fun. And the Crazy. rest of the four, right? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy.